Joy of Orthodox Christianity by Archpriest Sergei Barana. Yesterday, we had a talk. It was not on purpose. We just involuntarily compared Greek monasticism to Russian and Georgian to Russian as well. In the result, we found a little contrast, but it is natural. Now, I am not saying this in order to emphasize with one or another aspect or to be flat about something. As a matter of fact, I keep reminding myself that flatness always speaks of an unhealthy spiritual state. When people defend only their own philosophy of life, thinking there are no others, that is why I am making a note now. To specify, I do not compare. I just want you to be flexible and know that there are different traditions, characters, and spirits, provided that we have one main thing, love, and no dogmatic contradictions. So, when we discussed the issue yesterday, we unintentionally came to realize that in Greek monasticism, they allow themselves happiness, while in Russian monasticism, everything is kind of stiff, strict, and sometimes even grumpy. And I tell you once again, they have their way. Here it is a little different. It is good as the main thing is the result, but it is bad when people start to argue. For example, when people representing our tradition flatly insist on the impossibility of happiness, they disapprove of us, saying we are in a sinful state and need to cry and cry. But if people are constantly crying, they get discouraged, don't they? They become pessimistic, listless, and sorrowful. Why can't we rejoice? Well, first of all, do to yourselves. Yes, you are great sinners. It is natural and normal that we are sinners, and our Lord came to save the sinners in particular. Do you remember how the Old Testament Pharisees got confused all the time? They thought if he were the one, if he came from God, would he have taken food together with the sinners, whores, and publicans? He would have neither come into their homes nor connected with them, as he would have felt what they were and kept them at a distance. But our Lord continued to contradict the Pharisees' tradition and mindset. They even managed to make God angry, him whose name is love. It would seem love is supposed to have unlimited patience, covering everything with forgiveness. Nevertheless, even God may get angry due to his humanness. He gets angry with the Pharisees as they strictly observe visible rules, but do not get better, kinder, and simpler. They remain unkind and pretentious. And so, like I said, one tradition is not better than another, I just point out that another tradition is possible, and I defend its right for existence as there is joy in it. Joy of being in church, joy of changing, joy of taking part in a mystery, joy of standing before God in a prayer. Yes, it is a prayer of repentance, but repentance doesn't mean desperation. These are two different notions. Repentance can comprise joy. Holy Fathers have such a concept that encompasses both antipodes, sorrow and joy. It is when we cry over our sins, but in no way become desperate and discouraged, and our sorrow is dissolved by happiness, as we know that God loves us no matter what, and there is always hope, even for us. Our church is full of such opportunities for a person to change and become a friend of God, not his servant or a mercenary who has commercial relations with God. I keep the commandments and you will take me to the kingdom of heaven. It does not work this way. A true Christian does everything for Christ without seeking to profit. He or she does not need anything at all except Christ. Such Christians keep saying, Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus the sweetest. And how can you not smile pronouncing the name of your beloved? As soon as you say this name, both tears and joy come to you, don't they? I feel very sorry for the people who constantly talk about repentance, putting their special meaning in this word. One may even want to run away from them. When you have some dealings with them, you feel their repentance makes them intolerable, depressed, stiff, uncheerful, and always grim. Christianity is not a grim religion. Christianity is cheerful and joyful. It is happiness, not sorrow.